Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Kirith Styles and Beauty. My name is Kirith and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I make videos related to beauty, styling and a lot of good stuff. So guys, before I start this video, I just want to make a small announcement that I've started my very own business, uh, which is a dream come true. So guys, uh, let me just tell you about this uh, business. It's a clothing brand uh, named Revive by Kirath. And I was just dreaming about this project since I was very young and finally it's official and I'm really, really grateful guys. So I'll try to put my vision into my designs and if you like it, please support me as you guys always do. Uh, I'll give the link of my brand in the description box, please go and click on the link and please follow and share my brand with your friends so let's just start today's video as you guys know that i am uh, doing this wedding series and i've already created mandy look and today i'm gonna create healthy look and let's just start without wasting any time so guys in this makeup look i'll be focusing on eye makeup and hair tutorial mainly and let's just start. I'm just gonna do my face makeup first and then I'll move on to my eyes. So guys, I've already moisturized my skin and now I'll start with my primer. I'm using this NYX Pore Filler Primer and I've already put it on my hand. I'm gonna apply the primer onto the main areas where I have pores so that our makeup application will be smooth. Next, I'm taking this uh, Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and, and I am in the shade 220, Natural Beige. And I'm gonna take this foundation under my hand. And for that extra glow, I'm using this Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter and it's in the shade Light. And I'm gonna mix this liquid highlighter into my foundation. Just a little bit, not too much. And now I'm gonna mix both and apply it to my face. Okay, now I'm taking this uh, damp beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend my foundation. Okay guys, I'm done with the foundation and now I'm gonna do cream contouring and for that I'm using this L'Oreal Paris uh, Perfect Match Concealer. This is a concealer but in darker shade. So I'm gonna use this. And now I'm gonna take the same beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend it. And I'm not gonna move my uh, concealer. I just want to blend it where I've applied it. So be precise with that. Okay, we are done with the contouring and now I'm going to take this concealer, uh, my trusty, my favorite uh, Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the shade Light 120 and I'm going to highlight the usual areas like my under eyes, below the contour line and nose, I'm trying to make a triangle below the contour line to make it extra clean and sharp. And on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Taking the same sponge but the other side and blending my concealer. Powder my face, I'm going to use this Rimmel London Match Perfection Loose Powder in the shade Translucent, Transparent. Taking this fluffy brush and tap the excess, apply to your face. Uh, remember don't apply this powder onto your contouring cream contouring just apply where you have applied foundation and uh, your concealer now i'm gonna take this hula bronzer from benefit and i'm gonna bronze my face taking the brush comes with it okay now i'm gonna do my eye makeup and for the Transition shade, I'm using this uh, warm brown shade from NYX palette and you can use any warm brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna place this eyeshadow onto my crease. Okay guys, for eye makeup, let me just bring you up in personal. 
guys now i'm taking this uh, maybelline age rewind concealer and this flat top brush and i'm gonna create a half cut crease okay guys now i'm gonna take the morphe and jacqueline hill palette uh, which is called armed and gorgeous and i'm gonna use this same uh, flat top brush and i'm gonna use this yellow shade here That's done and I'm gonna use the same uh, brush which I used to apply my transition shade. I'm gonna mix both colors together. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. I'm gonna use this full brow uh, pomade and the brush. So I'm gonna take some on this brush and I'm gonna apply small strokes. Taking the spoolie on the other end, I'm going to blend the product so there will be no harsh lines it's very easy to use these products and if you want to buy these full brow products i'll give the link below in the description box now taking this full brow clear brow gel i'm gonna set my eyebrows now to highlight my brow bones and inner corners i'm going to use the same palette from morphe and jacqueline and i'm taking the shade vip and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and inner corners. Okay guys, now for the liner, I'm using this NYX, uh, that's the point eyeliner in the shade black. And I'm not gonna create any wink. Okay, the liner is done. Now I'm gonna apply some false lashes. And I'll be back. So guys, I've applied my eyelashes off the camera because uh, usually it takes me too long to apply my eyelashes but today it took me only few seconds so now i'm gonna apply mascara so that my real lashes and my false lashes doesn't separate so i'm gonna use this l'oreal paris paradise mascara i'm gonna apply this mascara to my lower lashes as well now i'm gonna apply this white kajal on my waterline this one is from l'oreal paris Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same uh, yellow shade from the Jacqueline Hill palette and I'm gonna take the same brush, the flat top brush and I'm gonna apply this color onto my waterline. That's why I applied the white kajal uh, first because I just want this color to pop on my waterline. And that's how you apply your yellow kajal. And now I'm gonna take the same mascara and apply onto my lower lashes. And voila, our eye makeup is done. And now let's move on to our face again. And I'm gonna apply my blush and highlighter and my lipstick and we are done with the makeup. I'm gonna apply this tea rose blush from uh, Milani. This is powder blush in the shade 8. And I'm taking this fluffy brush, tap the excess and apply it to your cheeks. Smile and apply. Okay, for highlighting my face, I'm gonna use this Sports Girl Glow With It Highlighting Palette. By using this fan brush, I'm taking this glow shade here, which is pretty pink. And I'm gonna highlight my face. It gives you very subtle glow. Okay guys, for lips, I'm gonna use this Max uh, Devoted to Chali Lipstick. It's one of my favorites. And I use this like every day. Okay, to set my face, I'm gonna use this uh, Rose Water Hydrating Mist Toner. I use this as a makeup fixer as well. So, I'm gonna shake it first and spray onto my face. So guys, now we are done with the makeup. Uh, let's move on to our hair now. So guys, now I'm gonna do my hair. And for my hair, I need to put my tikka first, like this. And I'm gonna pin it up. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take uh, some hair from my crown area. And I'm gonna pin my hair at the back. Now my hair is secure and I'm gonna pull some strands up. Okay guys, now I'm gonna turn back and I'll show you what exactly I'm gonna do. Now I'm taking some hair from both of the sides and twisting it. And securing it at the back with the help of pins. Taking some more hair from both of the sides and making a ponytail. Now 
Now make a small opening at the middle and flip that in. And I'm going to repeat the process. Okay guys, now I'm gonna pull some strands out. Okay guys, if you want you can curl these strands but I'm gonna leave it like that only. Okay guys, I know this makeup tutorial is late but I want to put all the blame on these flowers because I was looking for them for this hairstyle for so long and finally I got it today so I made this tutorial today. You guys, now you all have seen uh, those hairstyles where the people put the small pieces of this bunch into here and looks so good so that's exactly what I'm gonna do so guys I'm gonna take small pieces and apply it onto my braid let me just show it to you so guys this is the final look and I just love this hairstyle and makeup. So guys, now I'm gonna put on my outfit and I'll show you the final result of this look. So guys this is the final look and this outfit is from Heel Collection CA and this jewelry is from Reach Creations. I'll give the link in the description box. Please check it out and please tell me in the comment section that how you find this look and if you like this look please like, share and comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!